actually embarrassed by this, but I'm going to have to buy like a napkin to soak up my sweat. The amount I've been sweating in this country is actually severe. Like I'm doing absolutely nothing and please look, can you see the sweat on my face and my forehead, especially my forehead. Exciting day, I'm going to meet a girl about a job. Fingers crossed by the end of this conversation, I have a bloody job. Also, I'm not sure if this is a new video or if I'm running in from the last one, but if it is a new video, then hello. Welcome back to another video. These are all keeping well. How are we all? And don't you forget to just pause this video, head down there, subscribe. I would love that. Yeah, this is the plan. I'm going to meet a girl about a job. It's a marketing slash sales job. I'll fill you in more about it if I get it. There's no point in talking to you about it if I don't get it. It's now the end of January and I just only put up my first week in January vlog and I was talking about getting a job and how excited I was and I started a new job and by the time I posted that video, they sacked me. Have I even told you that story yet? I don't even know if it's in the past few vlogs. Guys, I have so much footage. It's not even funny, like it gives me anxiety. I think I have about three vlogs out of it to be honest. Lots of content for you but I just don't even know where to start. But yeah, let's go and have a conversation about a job. Say a little prayer for me. I got parked like pure far away so I'm walking over now. I feel a bit nervous. Guys, I'm so fed up looking for jobs that I just need a job. Like, I just need someone to just say, yes, you're hired and just keep me hired. Like, that's all a girl wants right now. Is that too much to ask for? Like, so I'm not even nervous about, like, the chat. I'm just nervous about getting a job. Like, I just need to get a bloody job. It's stressful when you move to Australia, like, especially Sydney, where it's so busy and, like, it's so competitive for jobs and apartments. You're fighting people for opportunities. Do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. All positive vibes. I'll let you know how it goes when I finish. Please, God. Okay, I think it went well. I think I have the job. It's very like mixed bundle of stuff. So it's like a bit of sales, a bit of marketing, helping out in the store. Like there's a few different things. So I'm very excited and happy. She's going to ring me this afternoon just to like tell me when I'm coming in. Let's go for a coffee and, and maybe edit my YouTube. We'll see how, how it goes, you know. Just stopped in at Sonoma. I've got a little chicken and leek pie, some pesto pasta, salad and a flat white. I'm home. I was supposed to go to another coffee shop and do a bit of editing, but my phone went out of battery and I thought I'd just come home, charge my phone. So while we're waiting for that to charge, I'm going to read a few chapters of the book club book. We're currently reading Good Material by Dolly Alderton. It's basically like the inner monologue of a fella who's going through a breakup. I'm on page 130 something, I think. Hold on. Yeah, I'm on page 138. I should be on 150, but we'll get there now. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do until my phone charges. I literally have just sat there and read 100 pages. I was just enjoying it and I was like, honestly, anything to keep me off my phone at this point. But it's just so good, it's so witty. It's a bit of a slow burner. I personally have enjoyed the full book, but I know girls at book club were like, when, when's anything exciting gonna happen? Like, this is boring, la, la la But to be honest, I've enjoyed it from the very start. Like, it's just witty, inner monologue, like through a breakup. Obviously, I've never experienced a breakup, but it's just what I would imagine us all to be going through if we did break up. Some of it's just really sad and realistic and I've just really enjoyed it. I have seriously laughed out loud multiple times for this book, so I can't complain. I'd love to get 20 books read this year. Reading's just such a nice way to like be engaged in something that's not your screen. I've ordered the start of the Akatar series, um, A Court of Rose and Thorns is it called. Yeah, I'm excited to read that because everyone's dying about those books, so very excited. But yeah, I don't know whether to go and edit now or not. What time is it? It's 20 to 3. I probably could go and edit for an hour. Yeah, fuck it. Morning. Okay, so bad news. I didn't update you yesterday, but basically the woman rang me. I did get the job, so long story short, she rang me. Yesterday, she asked me about my past experience. She then asked me, was I a permanent resident? To which I was like, oh my God, she's not gonna give me the job because of my visa. Even though I'm completely able to do the job, she told me to come in today at nine till 12. And then at half eight this morning, she messaged me saying that she might not need me anymore. So I've just been feeling a bit bad for myself this morning. My period also came. Uh, great timing. As always, um, I was going to sit, I have Centrinians on the TV, it's about to start. I was just going to lie there all day and feel like shit about myself and lie there and rot. But I've decided to throw a jumper on and go down and jump into the cold pool. I basically won't know more until tomorrow, she's going to let me know for sure. She's sorry about the run around and like the mess of it all. I'm sweating so much girls but I just can't put on a t-shirt, like I want to wear a jumper. Why is this country so warm? I think I'm having a mental breakdown. We're going to go and jump in the pool and get a coffee. 
to feel a little bit better. The car has air con, so let's just go and jump in the pool. But yeah, as I said, I'll know more tomorrow if I have the job or not, or if she needs me anymore. Personally, I think it's to do with my visa. I think she's like panicking because there's so much bad talk around visas, even though it literally would not have affected her or my job there whatsoever. Like it literally would not have affected it. They seem to just like grimace at the thought holiday visas i don't know if there's like horror stories around it or what but like everyone in australia seems to be so slow on applying working ho work holidays like they don't want you i know some places don't get funding if they don't hire aussies like government help so if you're in like that scheme sometimes it doesn't help but i don't know it's just so annoying it is honestly so annoying like i wasted yesterday now going in do you know what i mean and i can't be bothered looking at more jobs like i just can't do it like i actually can't look at any more jobs I need, I'm just gonna go to the pool right now. It's hair wash day so I can completely like just submerge myself in the water. It is what it is, I'm trying to be positive. Struggling, but trying. The period's not helping either, put it that way, but let's go. Morning, Zoe. Oh my God, I am the worst YouTuber in the freaking world. Do apologize, I need to stop apologizing guys. It's just how it is at the minute. Listen, I, I have been going through it. All right, I've been going through it. Did I update you that the job isn't happening anymore? If I didn't, well, it's not happening anymore. So there you go, the job fell through. Okay, totally done. She rang me this morning to say it's not happening anymore. So I am once again unemployed. This is the second job that's just been pulled from underneath me in the past couple of weeks. I feel like my videos have just been me saying I'm gonna do something and then filling you in after it's done instead of just showing you the freaking thing. Like I did go for a dip yesterday. It wasn't a nice dip because I decided to go to one of the different pools. Normally I just go to Man Pool, which is the one in Maroubra, but I decided to go to Malabar and it's just so stinky. I chose there because it's always quieter. Like Man Pool's always really busy and I just didn't feel like running into anyone. And I know if I went to Man Pool, I might meet somebody I know and I just couldn't be bothered like talking to anyone. I was in like a bad place yesterday. So I just wanted to go and like dip myself in the pool to see if it would make me feel better. I didn't really want to like socialize. So I went to Malabar for that reason, for a little bit of quiet peace, nice tranquil vibes. It was so stinky, like I could smell it when I was getting out of the car, just like mossy and stinky. And yeah, it was full of seaweed and full of crap. So it wasn't nice. <laughs> I started to swim and everything was touching me. And I was like, oh, get away. Uh, and then I just wished that I went to Mahan. So it wasn't a positive experience. And then this morning I went to meet Tara. Me and Tara went for coffee at half eight. Love her, she makes me feel good. I just love Tara. Shout out Tara. Tara G Fit on Instagram. So does YouTube, so Tara Gallagher, if you just want to follow her on there as well. She does like vlogs, she's like a fitness gal, so if you're into that kind of that kind of crack, then go watch her. But she's just a babe, she honestly, I just could speak to her for hours. I really, really could. I had to rush back because a man came to fix my lights in the house. So that's where I'm at. By the way, last night I started the Akatar series. It's like this fantasy novel um, series. I'm only three chapters in on the first book and it's a lot of like scene setting, which everyone warned me about. The first book's very much setting the scene of the world, if you know what I mean, because it's like obviously a fantasy world. There's all these different creatures and magic and wolves and all this. It's giving me like Game of Thrones type of vibes with the snow and the everything. So like, I think I will really like it, but we'll see the crack. But yeah, that is where I'm at so far. It's Friday. I'm staying positive. I'm gonna look back into the freelancing kind of thing that I was talking to you about. I think I wanna go like more freelance marketing. A lot of work to do to get started on that. Getting for my laptop to charge fully and then I'm gonna go to the cafe and finish editing my last YouTube video. Hopefully things look up. But we're documenting it all. That's what my YouTube's for. However, I should start showing you me actually out of the house because I do leave the house. I'm not just sitting in the house talking to you all day. I do leave the house in between. I just keep forgetting to vlog. My head's all over the place. It's I'm not very organized right now. I'm not very planned with my content, as you can probably notice. But we'll get there. Thanks so much for bearing with me. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Go down there and subscribe right this second, we must say. And yeah, I'll chat to you later. When I get a lemon in my coke, I feel so sophisticated. The lemon went is giving holiday vibes. Morning, it's Saturday, guys. We're going to go for a dip and then to get the best coffee that I've tasted in Sydney so far. You are going to literally die when you try this coffee if you're living in Sydney. It's genuinely, it's what I imagine Melbourne coffee to be because everyone's always raving about Melbourne coffee. Sydney coffee's okay, but everyone says Melbourne's like unbelievable. So I'm going to say that this coffee shop that I go to today is probably more like what you would expect from Melbourne. I am going to Melbourne in a month, so I'll be able to compare that. But yeah, let's go for a wee swim in Bronte and then go to get the best coffee ever.
It is well needed, girls. I'm rude. I really need to stop wearing sweatshirts in this country because that is too warm. But I'm not ready to let them go. Like, I just love a sweatshirt. It just feels so cozy. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I think I could try my arm at surfing. I'm a pretty balanced person. This is the cafe in here, the blue one. It's called 143, but they don't have a sign. I got one iced latte and then one flat white because the coffee in here is just too good. Taste test on, go on ahead. No, it isn't. It isn't. It tastes so much better than that. It's like a smoothness to the coffee though. It's a smooth coffee, it's not bitter. It just tastes like a warm hug, like a big warm cuddly hug. That's what it tastes like. It's gorgeous. It's nice like. One more, one more time. Because it's mixed in now. You can't taste any coffee in that. Dream each night of some version of you that I might not have a I don't know how he got me roped into this shite. I don't one day driving a moxie in this shop gives me PTSD. This place does like lots of Irish crisps and shit. Some of it's out of date, but we'll take what we can get. This is like here, it's in Matraville. Favorites. Some Irish meat. Success, very nice. Okay, so we've just been chilling all day. We watched a couple of crime docs, and I'm now getting ready because we're going out with Shannon. She's back from her um, trip. I don't know if I can say this. Yeah, I should be able to because this won't be up for a couple of weeks. She is leaving Sydney on Friday. Mm, Friday coming? No. Yeah, Friday next week. So yeah, we're all getting together to go out for a wee girls' night. We're going for cocktails in the Shangri-La. I wasn't going to drink, but I think I'm just going to get one bottle of wine. Funny, like going from not drinking to drinking a bottle of wine, but fancy it now, so I'm going to have a bottle of wine. I'm not going to bother with the cocktails. I'm just not a big cocktail girl, but I think, oh shit, I think they're going out after. Hold on, I'm going to put my teeth in. I'm just using the Polish London whitening strips, using the crack. Yeah, she's leaving next Friday, so we're going out tonight to celebrate. I wanted to have a bottle of wine. So I was going to get ready on camera, but I think I'm just going to charge the camera. Also, my skin is all broke out. It's never been this bad. It's like, they're nearly like sweat bumps. And I've popped all these on my chin. So they were coming up like little tiny white, like poppable spots. I think they're from sweating so much. Um, but they're all over my face. And they're really getting on my nerves, so hopefully I can cover them up a bit. Um, these are pretty raw, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover them. But we'll see the crack. And yeah, I'm going to charge my camera, so I was going to chat to you, but I'll just show you when I'm all ready. And maybe take you for cocktails with us, and let's get ready. Already, I feel a bit like shit because I've had to put on black pants, even though I'm wearing a white dress, and I feel like you can see the pants. The lesson is that I need to buy more white pants, so... I'm just so sweaty, guys. But anyway, let's go out for Shannon's leaving day. This is the outfit. Guys, when I say I sweat so much there, but my makeup's not even funny. Like genuinely, I was soaking my full forehead. I don't know what's going on. Medical condition, honestly. Shannon, say hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I'm sweating like a motherfucker in this place. Honestly, I can't cope. I'm sweating. Like but it is what it is. The makeup's off. That's just how it goes, especially in this hot climate. Like, I can't actually deal with it. This is how we're looking. Do I look like I'm on maternity leave? Yes. But that is okay. You are? It's gonna help me get a job because I need help. Because it's the original. 
I know I was going to do mocktails, thank you. Oh, but Jesus, she licked me. No. Oh, hold on, wait a second. I have a lot of wee hair in there. Oh my God, look at that. That is some fun. Jesus, that is some clear shit. Yeah, see it.